So today we're going to look at the 2P trick. Getting this ready to start tuning. So it's a few things on the uh, carburetor that I'm just changing. And today, the main thing we're looking at is what's called the 2P trick. Basically what that means is uh, this carburetor has got a wax stat, which is uh, at the bottom of the carburetor, a small silver piece that expands when it gets hot, leans the mixture, pushes up the jet. Now, don't want to have that on this car. It makes it harder to tune. What you would normally or potentially do is a fixed jet conversion. Uh, but because I want to keep this car looking sort of original, I'm not going to put on a fixed jet. Here is a fixed jet. Um, so you'll see the base of. So you see the base of it here is just a solid pipe, um, and then the jet goes into the carburetor. The wax stat has a large section here, which we'll show in a minute, um, that expands when it gets hot. So rather than switching, rather than just switching to a fixed jet, because uh, then you've got to sort out the, co uh, the choke linkage, because it's a different choke linkage uh, from, from a wax that type, uh, we're going to just do the 2P trick on the wax that jet. Okay, just working on the bottom of this um, carburetor now. This is the uh, HS4, and it's a, a wax stat, which basically means in the bottom here, there is a little container here, and it has a like a waxy substance inside, I believe. And what happens is when it gets hot, so when the engine's been running a long time, it expands and that pushes this up basically raises the jet inside there and leans out the mixture slightly. That was done about mm, 79, I think, on these HS4s and um, effectively leans out the mixture for emissions. Now there is um, an issue with this one. doesn't seem to be doing anything at all. I filled up a little, uh, a little cup with boiling hot water and then I dipped my wax stat and then my wax stat in the boiling hot water for a couple of minutes. And I used my calipers just to measure this distance here. When it's put into boiling water, this gap should be expanding. I've been measuring it with my calipers there at 11 mil. Um, now there is a trick that people have talked about which basically is replacing this wax that in here with a fixed uh, size um, and you can achieve apparently the correct size with two 1p coins like this and they'll sit in the bottom and hold the jet at a set position obviously that means it won't lean out when it gets hot but as that is for emissions I don't think it's going to matter and apparently that actually robs you of a little bit of power anyway when it leans it out so i'm going to pull back these three tabs which isn't for the faint hearted it's very difficult to do so there's one there you see the one that i've just started pulling back here and then this will remove this bottom casing we'll get the wax that out we can have a look inside it i suspect it will be empty um, and then we can replace with the two 1P coins and also need to keep that little silver pin there. Um, so I measure this gap. Now I said it's 11 mil. We'll see how it measures after we change it to the two 1Ps. I'm using this really thin screwdriver and you can't actually get in between the tab and the base here to start with so I am pushing the screwdriver in there sorry in there first just to get the movement started and once we can actually get it started then we can get 
in here between the tab and the and the body right then here we go we've got the wax that out and i'll just show you what this is basically a copper can and inside there you can probably just make out there is some kind of dark gray waxy uh, material and obviously when it gets hot that expands now it did in the end expand a little bit and I can don't know if you can make this out but I can press on there now it's supposed to shrink back when it's cold which it is now and expand when it's hot um, it isn't doing that properly so this will be giving us the incorrect adjustments to the carburetor uh, when it's warm uh, and those adjustments we potentially don't want anyway because they're interfering with the mixture i'm not interested particularly in it helping to control emissions we'd rather just have a fixed jet making it easier to do the tuning and get that dialed in as best we can right we've got the uh, carb reassembled here you can see the pennies in the bottom uh, i'm having a hell of a time with this leaking inside basically you have a little silver washer um, and that rubber one and that silver one is supposed to squash the rubber one uh, via this nut and then the rubber one deforms so the rubber one deforms inside the hole and it's supposed to seal against the outside and also the uh, tube on the inside which has got a little uh, copper tube insert up the middle of it so it's this that's meant to cause the seal and there's the first one that was leaking as you can see it's damaged but it did deform a bit to start making a seal uh, that's a different style one it might be an HS2 one actually here's another washer I've bought two packs of these from two different places none of these this one this one or the one that's fitted are actually correct they are supposed to be square shouldered almost like the end of a piece of tube being cut off um, everyone nowadays is just applying what is basically an o-ring um, that's rounded so maybe that's why it keeps leaking anyway I've, I've done my best to refit it again I'm gonna put the car back on the car again and we're gonna see if it leaks As it turns out, it wasn't the end of the pipe that was leaking, even though I uh, changed this seal inside here two or three times to try and sort it out. Uh, but if you've got a good eye, you will see actually the float bowl is cracked here. So yeah, the leak was coming out of here, which is obviously directly above the uh, hole there so yeah that was misleading me into thinking that it was leaking from inside here here you can see um, where the rubber fits down into and then it's uh, compressed by that silver washer uh, and then which fits over the top of this kind of pipe which you can see has the brass insert inside so that goes in in the hole there and then the rubber and the steel washer presses the rubber and it squashes the rubber around to seal onto this pipe and then obviously the outside of the rubber seals around in the bottom of the so yeah that was um a big waste of time trying to sort it out with this seal when in fact it was a cracked float bowl so i've now got myself a replacement float bowl uh, that isn't cracked and put that on um, and it's the exact same part number 
So no trouble, that has solved that problem. So carburetor's back in place on the car. Uh, 2P conversion of the wax that is now making it behave like a fixed jet. So we can now get on with trying to dial in tuning on this car. See you next time guys.